In Alabama, they're preparing to put to death the first inmate since a series of issues carrying out other lethal injections. But that inmate speaking exclusively with NBC News tonight from prison. It's a story we first brought you as our original a couple months ago, sharing with you how the last two executions in Alabama failed, meaning there are two prisoners on death row right now who are still alive months after their execution dates. James Barber now is waiting on a decision from a federal appeals court on an effort to block his execution. But at the moment, he is heading into tomorrow prepared for the end of his life. Dasha Burns has our exclusive reporting, some details of which you may find disturbing. An Alabama death row inmate set to die this week in his own words. That's a situation that very few people have ever been in, right? James Barber accepts his fate. I don't have any experience with it, but I can tell you what God has shown me. I have no fear. But he's expressing some hesitation about being the state's first test subject as it tries to prove it can carry out a lethal injection without incident. Now, I have a fair amount of trepidation about the process that they've obviously had perfected. The last two went wrong. The condemned men survived after being pierced with needles for hours as the execution team struggled to start an IV filled with a cocktail of lethal drugs. The failed attempts prompting backlash. And a three-month pause on executions so the state could conduct a review of its procedures. The state downplaying the failures. Cold-blooded convicted killer complains about the prodding and poking of a small IV line. Really? Governor Kay Ivey saying in a statement, for the sake of the victims and their families, we've got to get this right, but blaming, quote, legal tactics and criminals hijacking the system for the controversy. Now the state says it's ready. Be the first one after they did no true review of the protocol, made no real changes. Alabama didn't make the findings of its internal review public. The state declined to comment this week. But in a letter to Governor Ivey in February, Corrections Commissioner John Hamm saying the department hired more medical personnel, practiced its protocols, and added more equipment. That equipment, revealed in court filings, includes additional straps to secure inmates to the gurney. The state also said in court it will use a new IV team. The most significant change is that the state will have more time to attempt to execute Barber, allowing them to go through the night from 6 p.m. Thursday to 6 a.m. Friday. Previously, a Executions had to be completed in a single day, but the Alabama Supreme Court lifted that time limit. I don't know what to expect, but then I know that I'm in God's hands. Barber is convicted of the 2001 murder of 75-year-old Dorothy Epps, whom he beat to death with a hammer when he was in a drug-induced blackout, according to Barber himself and court filings. Members of Epps' family are traveling to Alabama this week for the attempted execution. At least one of them, Epps' granddaughter, has forgiven Barber, writing him a letter published in The Atlantic. I pray that when you see Grandmama again, she embraces you and tells you it is okay. I forgive you, Jimmy. I forgive you for everything you did. That forgiveness is just incredible. I love Sarah Gregory more than I love any person I face with this earth. Barber sees that forgiveness as a sign from God. He became deeply religious reading the Bible in county jail after murdering Epps. On the eve of his scheduled execution, he says he's placing his fate in God's hands. I look at what I did. I am so ashamed of and I regret so much that I had to go to God. Nobody wants to die. I still think there's a lot of, that I can accomplish and people I can help or change hearts. If, if indeed it happens and I have to go, I'll go with a smile on my face. But if it doesn't happen, then I'll go on and do everything I can to honor God and do things in his name. Dasha Burns, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.